Hey no code fans, today's video is all about using Outsetters API to create a CRM in Airtable. The advantage of using Airtable is you can make your own formulas, you can display the information in different ways, so it makes it more useful for your use case, your own personal use case. If you're new to new code, no code desk, please feel free to add this video to your dashboard. Let's go. So this is what we're going to be creating in Airtable with our set API. So we've got the email, we've got the how many logins they've got this month, user frequency, which is a, a formula. We've got the plan they are, they're on, plan plan being changed, the image, the word in the images, start date, term end, Twitter handle, Airtable ID here. This is fed in through this, which creates all our logins are saved here. So I've logged in today, as you can see, 26, there's one record. So all our logins, and you can do it by month, you can do it by this week, so you can keep track. Right, so what we do with this, this is the zap we're gonna be recreating, we're gonna be catching a webhook, we're gonna be finding or creating a record in Airtable, which is this record here, if you're not already logged in. We're gonna be updating the record we're creating that record, and then we're going to be creating a record in logins. So how so how do we recreate this zap? Then? So what we'll do, we'll go to on clean page. We can create zap, obviously, and we need a webhook zap here. There we go. Do an event. So it's capture webhook, and webhook. We can do this gives us a token, a webhook URL, it's like an endpoint. So we need that. We we'll capture that. In notifications, go back into Outsetter, in notifications, you want to add a notification. And this is all the information we can find. Notifications is what the information we can get from our website, uh, Outsetter's API. And here, what person login. And all you do is then chuck in that webhook we just received from Zapier. Go add. So that's that, it's done. Now, after you create that notification, you might well log into your site so you get some information. So the zap can capture that information. So when you test it, it comes through. There we go. Sometimes it takes a little time to uh, send the information through. But there we go. This is all the information I've got from my login. There we go. So we'll continue. Now we need to go into Airtable. So now you've got Find Record at the right base. And I'm going to select our member CRM. Select the right one, which is Members Copy. And I've done this bit already. Look, you can say e search by for um, field email, email address in. Right, so that, that's been done. What you need to do here is we need to go into create record if it doesn't exist. Click on that. So it might be the first person, first time this person's um, logged in. Uh, again, that there. An email, skip that. Start date would be account person created. For the four, that's correct. It's so much information you get from uh, Outsetters API, it's amazing. It really is. There's so much you can do with it. So let me skip term end because that'll be another. So if you look on the notifications, you might have to create another zap for account deleted or yeah, account or person deleted. So let's go back. Frequency, Twitter handle. If you're, you're pulling in Twitter handle from Outsetter, that could go in there. Email address will be email address. Uh, table login this month will be logging this month. Plan. This is one of the good things about this plan will be we got for um, a free plan forever, free forever plan. A username will be person username. There we go. Get yeah, maybe person account updated. Image will be profile image there. Remove these ones here. Continue. Test Airtable. Now we've got Airtable. We've got update. Hit record. Now what this is for, this step, is for if anyone's logged in and their records have, have changed, so they want to be updated, so they've updated an image or anything like that, it goes in here. So obviously they find the record and this bit here is not instantly updated because obviously the hasn't been created. So this is the update and the one that's been found. Now all you do for this one is chuck in all the same information that we just chucked in the top. Then we'll see our record number from there. And that all you do from the webhook, you just capture all that information again. Start date, going to update because that's already that's on the start date. Uh, user frequency, you don't need to update date. Create ability to update. Uh, there's a few duplications in here. Last logged in, we need to update. That's that done. Plan, you might need to update your plan. They've changed 
find the picture of plant, the username, plus an account with data, and you might have added an image during this time. Just to continue. Now, what we need to do, we need to add the login now as well. So the login Airtable page, so it's create an account, uh, create a record again, continue. So here, name will just be the email address, login time will be login here. There we go, Andre, now link to member. Now, this will be this here. That is what we need to do. We need to link that to member. Definitely need to do that. And that's it. That's it for the zap. Test and continue. Perfect. So that's it. That's created that record, the login record. We've created or found the member. We've updated any found members with any new information that's been added in between. So now for the CRM, this is what we need to do. So now you see I've logged in a couple of times to test this out. That's my login there. So for this Airtable base here, we've got obviously the email address. We've got the last login time, which is today obviously for my one. What I've done here is I've tried to create a calculation to make it so when if you're logged in for the, in the last four weeks, it gets a one. So all I've done this is count down how, how long since last logged in, how many weeks it's been since last logged in. If it's, it's been zero weeks since last logged in because I've logged in lots of multiple times today. Right, so for this one, so as you can see, if I scroll down here, that's been over a week since you logged in. And if you look go further down, it's been five or four weeks since I logged in there. That's a zero. It's been five weeks since I logged in there. That's a zero. So on this formula here, weeks since logged, logged on. If it's greater than minus four, then you get to one. Otherwise, you get a zero. It's an if statement. So it's, if weeks since I logged in is greater than minus four, you get one. If it's if it's less than that. It's less than minus four, you get a zero. But that's how I've done that there. So you can f calculate the frequency of in here, of how long the how many times I've logged in in that four week period. And all this is here is a roll up of that date logged in. This is a sum. So usage roll up, fit in, sum, and let last logged in. So it just adds up. So here, this email address here, I've logged in 13 times this month. And this bit here, all this is here is an if logged in less than once or greater than once this month frequent the other thing is greater equals to one this month is monthly the greatest is, is um, smaller than once it's not frequent so this comes in from here and that's it and all this other information has been pulled across from the zap so that's how I can tell. So what, what we're planning to do is people who are frequent are on the free plan, we're gonna send them an email with some potentially some discounts. So trying to get them onto the pro plan. There's loads of things you can do. As you can see, as you saw from the notifications and the information you pulled out from the zap, from the outset to API, there's so much information you can get from it. So I hope this has been useful, this tutorial, uh, by creating your own setter. CRM in Airtable. As you can see, there's loads of information you get from our, our setter with their API. So there's lots you can do with it. And I think it could be very, very useful to uh, put into Airtable so you can play around with it and you can find the information you really, really need. Hope, hope you've enjoyed this video again. Please check us out on Twitter at NoCodeDevs and keep building. <laughs>